We're on the road again with another heavy haulage model from WSI Models. This one is a Mercedes Benz Actros MP4 SLT 8x4 and it's coupled up to a big Brosshaus six axle trailer. It is a limited edition in the colours of the German company Blödorn. The packaging is the typical WSI box, which is factory sealed. And guess what? When you open the box, you can get the parts out. Included with the model is an instruction sheet for the Boss House trailer, and there's a little bit of reverse origami to open it up. For the model, it has generic information about this type of trailer, and it covers all the combinations, not just those in this particular model. If you turn it over, there's some general information about the real trailers, and that's nice to see. The trailer comes in three pieces, there's a gooseneck, a spacer and the axles. And the pieces are joined together the same way and the first thing to do is to interlock the connection holes. And then you insert a pin to make the connection. Thoughtfully WSI have included a magnetic tool to get the pin in. So that makes it a bit easier. The only thing you might need to do is to clean out some paint from the holes before you start. With the assembly of the trailer done we can connect it up to the Actros. And it's clunk click does the trick. Next there's some detail to add to complete the assembly. And there are some marker boards to add to the gooseneck and these ones are short because the trailer is at the moment unloaded. Similarly there are marker boards at the rear and we'll turn those in because again the trailer is unloaded. There are also a couple of reflectors that you can just drop into place at the back. But these are very easily knocked off so you have to be careful not to lose them. One last piece of detail is a plastic generator, and we'll put that on the gooseneck. As usual, we start underneath the Actros, and the chassis is typically highly detailed. And the Actros cab also looks great, there's a light bar on the roof, a very detailed grille and a realistic number plate. Behind the cab is a big equipment tower and it's got a combination of metal and plastic parts and it all looks very good. A particularly nice aspect of the model is the high quality graphics. It's time for a genuine imitation real life test. Well it's not often you can test the graphics on a model but it, this time we can because there's a QR code printed on the cab. It's 1 to 50 scale, so let's see if a QR scanner on our smartphone can read it. And the answer is the graphics are accurate and the QR code has been read. So let's just check and open up the link. And after a moment or two, we get to the Blowdorn website. Moving on to the Boss House trailer and it's very detailed underneath. Although there was some minor paint loss on one or two rivet heads. The gooseneck is detailed with a yellow stripe running down the edge. And there is some excellent detailing of the control console. The trailer edge also has a yellow stripe and there are tiny boss host graphics. At the rear the lights have plastic lenses and there's a realistic number plate. Once again we step out onto the Cranes Etc Autobahn. And the big Arox rolls along reasonably well in a straight line. If we hoist it up with the giant hand crane we see that there is link steering on the front two axles. But the range of movement isn't great. So it doesn't steer much but as we always say something is better than nothing. You can tilt the cab but the cab doesn't want to stay tilted. But if you hold it open there is a detailed engine to be seen underneath. Let's now have a quick look at the functionality of the gooseneck and there are landing legs which can be unscrewed and lowered. Although perhaps they don't wind up quite as far as you'd like. You can also control the angle of the gooseneck. And the hydraulic rams that control that are reasonably stiff and do a fair job of holding a pose. Moving on to the main part of the trailer and it's very nicely engineered and it rolls very well. Let's pick it up and see what it's like underneath and the front two axles are linked together and steer. And the rear five axles are also linked together and they have steering which is proportional. Alrighty so we see there is steering so let's set it and see how it steers. 
And the answer is it steers very nicely, thank you very much, yes indeedy. It will certainly turn beautifully inside your display cabinet. Not only that, but you can bounce it up and down on the sprung suspension. Other features on the deck include deck posts if you want to fit them. Or you can extend the width of the deck by adding boards down the sides. The other feature of the deck is that if it's not long enough for you, you can extend it and make it quite a bit longer. How much longer? Well, let's do a dim check. Unextended is 18 inches or 46 centimetres. And fully extended is 23 inches or 59 centimetres. Let's see how the model looks with a couple of loads and we'll start with a heavy crawler track assembly. And that looks good, so let's try with some heavy crawler crane boom sections. And again, that makes the whole model an impressive display. These boom sections are a bit wider than the trailer, so we need to adjust the marker boards. And helpfully, the model comes with boards to suit wider loads. So we'll start with the two at the rear, and then we can replace the two at the gooseneck. As usual, WSI have produced a very detailed truck model, and the high quality graphics and paint make it look really good. In terms of functionality, the big Bross House trailer is excellent, and if you put a suitable load on the truck, the whole display looks great. Overall, this model is excellent.